What's up guys, my name is Ozzy and welcome back to a brand new video here on the Nitro Luke DX channel Bringing you once again another awesome little pocket edition video Now this believe it or not guys is not actually a mod but it is almost still like spawning in something So we'll still call it how are we going to spawn in a TARDIS today Guys, yes, for all you Whovians out there, yes, I know what you're called. You are the Doctor Who fans. We have got the Doctor Who's TARDIS within Minecraft now, guys. So, fasten your seatbelts. Get in your own TARDISes. Come over here, Time Lords. We are going to show you guys how it spawned in. Simply go down to the description and get this link and download it, guys, for your Pocket Edition and Windows 10. So, today we're actually going for a Windows 10 Edition because it's a little bit easier for us, but it can be done on Pocket Edition as well. Make sure that you guys are smashing that like button down below if you like Doctor Who or if you remotely think this is interesting whatsoever. And we will get into this video of how to spawn the TARDIS in Minecraft Pocket Edition. I'm so excited right now. It's so amazing. There's so much cool stuff to explore. But without further ado, let's get in. Todesh video right now. Okay, so the description of this TARDIS is actually a prototype. It's not 100% complete. It's made by the creator, Ding Dong 61. And oh my goodness, as you go outside of the TARDIS, you get teleported. Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm done. I'm actually, I'm, is this supposed to happen? I don't feel like this is supposed to happen. This is what it feels like to get teleported in the TARDIS. You go glitch mode. And so there's lots to do with this. It's like 49 different locations. But guys, I'll get out of this glitchy mess. Whoa! Okay, gosh. I'm back in business. Uh, it is a little, little, little bit laggy, guys. It does, it does say on the actual page, important, it might lag on low-end devices. Now, we're actually using a pretty decent PC here, so hopefully when you guys use this, it won't be too crazy, and hopefully you guys have the best of the range of gaming computers, but I'm sure you'll be able to use it just fine on what you've got. You just gotta turn down some of the settings. So, right here is actually the TARDIS, guys. Simply, this is the TARDIS. It looks so cool. As you can see, there's a little bit of uh, freezing lag there every so often, but it does not bother me. It still looks awesome. So you got you know your, your normal blocks on top. But I'm guessing with the resource pack and various things they've actually managed to change this. Shall we actually have a snoop around in creative and see what they actually change it to? Let's see through all the blocks. Do they actually go and change any of the blocks to a TARDIS-like one, or have they actually done something in the coding? I think perhaps, guys. I'm not. I can't actually see any of these blocks. I'm going to try and use the pick block. Can I Oh, it's a, oh, it's a command. Oh, the sneaky little peoples. They have actually made these blocks here command blocks. So you can't actually get them in creative. So I can place these. I can make my own TARDIS. Make my own one ready. I'm going to make like a car one ready. The car TARDIS. Yeah, I, I, I have no clue what I'm doing with these. I should probably stop touching them. But nevertheless, guys, this is what the TARDIS looks like on the outside. Let's get back to what this video is all about. So with inside this TARDIS, out of 49 locations and you can find most of them within the TARDIS and we'll have a look right now So this is the outer look and let's go back in and okay. Yeah, it's a little bit less laggy now We've gone in and wha-bam. I remember first time seeing this on TV I was like, oh, dude, it's like small on the outside and then it's that like huge on the inside It makes no sense, but it's so cool. So this is the one and only place. Let's have a look. What have we got? We've got rain clear thunder. Can we actually change it rain? I'm pretty sure, does that make it, and then we make it clear. Can we actually make it thunder? I can't really hear anything. I'm not sure if they actually change anything. And now it says here, TARDIS launch. Okay, it actually is thundering. Okay, uh, it actually does work. Let's make it clear. I want it clear now. Thank you very much. Hopefully, it's, is it going to make it clear? Make it clear, Mr. Doctor. I'm the doctor now. I do what I want. I am the, the captain of this ship. So now, I'm going to actually launch. Oh! Oh, look at that, boy! Look at that! We got the TARDIS launching! The TARDIS is actually launching right now! It's a beacon! It's been turned on. So, turn that off. I don't want to launch anymore. I don't want to launch! It's actually making the noise of the TARDIS. It's so cool. Wait, now I want to land. I want to land. I want to land. Is it going to make a noise? Are we going to make a noise, boy? Nah. Uh oh I feel like... Now, nah, guys, it's sad times. It didn't make a noise. But let's venture on and see what other stuff we got. So time reverse here. And then you've also got time forward. So there's so many different controls to look at. But let's actually go and look at what other stuff there is to see within 
the TARDIS. So we got here, ship services. This is one of the locations. Boom, I've been teleported here. Now this will give me a number of different places that I can go into. I've got myself the zero room, which basically removes effects and generates health and restores hunger. So if I went in here, I could just restore everything and I'll be, look at that, look at that. I've been he healed, I've been all good, all back to normal. And I am now just your standard meerkat, guys. That's what I do. So if I go out, you can, the funny thing is you can't actually see through this door, it actually just teleports you when you go in the pressure plate. Now, let's have a look. We've got ourselves the laboratory. Do, 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 do. What is in here? Look at this, guys. It's just like a nice sort of interior that you can look at. A little bit of lava here. So this would be cool to actually have a survival on because you can have the TARDIS as your base sort of thing. Look at this. Nothing. They left me nothing in the chest. How could they be so mean to me? But yeah, let's. I want to really speed through all these things because there's so much, guys. Tool shed. Okay. Look at this, guys. Does that actually... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Free items. You know what? You want to go out mining? You want to do all that stuff? You want to go and explore an alien land? You get yourself all of these different tools and a torch, of course. Just from pressing these buttons. I'm pretty sure they're unlimited as well, which is pretty awesome. This TARDIS actually has everything, guys. Won't be surprised if there's a theme park under here, but that would be actually really cool. Now, armory. Let's see. Armory. There's, oh, there's even more stuff here. You obviously know how you get that. Let's see. Uh, wardrobe. I'm guessing. Yeah, look at that. You get yourself armor there. And what else? Zero room. Oh, you expect that. Did, 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 did. Anything else? The greenhouse. Let's have a look in here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, guys, when on a long trip in the TARDIS, you need to be fueled up. You need to know what you're doing. And so, look at this. We've got a massive, lovely farm of just all the food you could ever want, and she'll never go hungry again, guys, in this TARDIS. I actually I love this map. This is really, really creative. Thank you, Mr. Ding Dong 60, 61. You're the best. You're the legend of the world. You have made the TARDIS that we love. Now, anywhere else, control room, and I think that is about it down here. We're back. Oh, we're back to normal. So, that's that part, and I'm pretty sure we got some different rooms if I go down to the ground floor. Did, 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 did. Look at how cool. Look at all the detail they've done. Now, goes nowhere, does nothing. Okay, well, uh, I, I bet this is like a trick and it actually does something really cool. Uh, oh, uh, uh, okay, it literally, yeah, it literally does absolutely nothing, guys. Okay, we, 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 we sorted that one out. We really figured that one out. So that's the coolest feature so far. Coolest feature. Now, what's it say? Go, it goes, no why don't want to go nowhere, though? I want to go somewhere, my lad. And just, is this the same? Okay, that, okay, the entire bottom floor seems like it's just a joke and there's just no other rooms to go into. And it said there was a load more different places to go. So this is the ship systems. Did we go through here? I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. now this is a different zone, guys. Okay, so now destination data banks. Oh, this is cool. Oh, what? oh, oh this, dude, there's so many cool different things. Uh, you go into one floor, and then there's loads of different different floors, and there's loads of command blocks, which make no sense to me. But can I just right click on this? Does that? Do I go? How do I? What are these? I'm pretty sure this is how they do all the command settings. I really have no clue how this works. So you guys are going to have to search this up for your own endeavors. But let's see. I would like to go back. I don't want this. I don't want this room. It's scaring me and it's really confusing. Now, security room. Let's have a look at the security. I want to see what's in here. Do, 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 do. Look at this. Oh, whoa. So these are, are these meant to be like... I think this is meant to be all the different things we've captured, all the different, you know, the monsters and aliens we've ever come across, just like what well, on the uh, what's on the TARDIS and in the Doctor Who's. You see all the different creatures. And it says for new entries, type this. Do, 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 do. Cool. Now, can I actually get something from this? Can I do? Oh, oh no, I can't do. It. These are just all the names of the mobs. So pretty cool room. Very interesting. Probably would understand it if I knew a little bit more about the command blocks. Now, operations. Ooh, okay, there's so much stuff in here. I don't understand. I literally I feel like a noob I feel like a noob again. Now. Hey, hey, where am I now? Whoa. Oh, this is cool. Where am I now? I've been teleported. Where did I go for? I want to see what room I, I went into the closet. I'm in the closet guys glowing obsidian save one for creative mode. Oh Look at that. That's the actual blocks they've added in for this TARDIS. Look at this. So this is actually the window block. Then the nether, ra nether reactor. Oh, they're the actual sort of normal blocks here. So I actually have this here. And then I have the other command block, which is kind of like the door that you open. And then we've got some more blocks here. So I have that one. Any more? No, this one's empty. Anything in here? So 
These three blocks make up the TARDIS right here, and there's one more there with a different texture. But what do you know? How to build the TARDIS within Minecraft? Getting this add-on is really, really cool. So let's see. What other places do we have left? We've got been through security, been through all this sort of stuff. Uh, I feel like this this room. Oh wow, dude! It's this was it's the architectural thing. What uh, architectural configuration room? This is the one. Wow. Okay. Wow, it's quite cool. It's so dark in here. I can't even see where the ends of the rooms are. Okay, so this is pretty awesome. I like it. I'm going to make my own little TARDIS here. Ready? Ha ha ha. I'm making my own. I'm making a different version. It's going to be the coolest I've ever seen in my world. Da, 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 da. Look at this. It's a square. It's a, the best. We know what? Doctor Who, take a look at my TARDIS. It's all windows. It's a different style. And it's going to have a little bit more lighting. Oh yes, this is, you know what guys, I think we should use the TARDIS from now on forever, that is the new TARDIS, and I'm pretty sure we have seen so much of what this place can hold, engine room, is there anything, oh wow, okay, this, it's so, it's so big, can you just imagine, what, how, what sorcery do they use to get this all in one, obviously, it's all a massive mind trick, but this is like the leap of faith to get to the engine room, ready, can I actually just jump off, I don't, I feel like, I feel like you can't do it, I feel like, I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna have to. Um, you know what? I'm gonna have to build across. I don't feel like I can make the jump. I don't feel like I can make the jump. It's not worth it. It's not gonna work. Now, what is this? Going into the engine. Oh, man, man, that is cool. Man, that. Oh, I think this is so. Because what they've done is, guys, they've actually used things from Minecraft itself. They've done a little bit of customization when it comes to the blocks, like the command blocks stuff. But they have actually gone all out on this little teleportation engine room they've done really really well but yeah that is pretty cool a little bit of lava here a little bit of that but i think it's time for me to get back to my house get back into my house my home uh -huh. and, and then guys i think we've pretty much gone through loads of the stuff here there's so much more that we could do but guys we will end it off and leave it to you to explore this even more send us pictures on twitter at notchlootdx and you could be featured in one of the next mod videos if you get this mod and show us what you got up to. So, thank you very much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, smash that like button down below. I definitely did. And also, comment down below any other ideas you have for mod videos on the channel. So, we'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe for daily wildfire content. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, Aussie and Nitro DX are out.